champion match about to take place. So Taylor made the supreme champion and then uh, we got heavyweight champion Ace Armani. Remember, like I said, champion versus champion, not title for title. Event 136. Here we go. Supreme Champion Taylor Made, Heavyweight Champion Ace Armani, locking up. Both these guys won their titles at the 10th anniversary. Uh, Taylor won his in a triple threat with Aaron Douglas in the bouncer, and Ace Armani defeated CJ Price in a Last Man Standing match. Both these guys have uh, a different roads to success. They both debuted in 2011. Go Taylor uh, definitely rose up a little quicker than Armani, won a couple of belts in uh, 2011. Uh, had, a, had a great hybrid title, and both these guys did actually. Uh, Ace Armani won the 2013 Supreme Invitational, which by the way, the 2015 tournament is coming up in just a few shows, going to be starting off the annual Supreme Invitational. So, oh, by Armani. Taylor, uh, Taylor's trying to re regroup right now. You might want to get out of Dodge. Come on, Taylor. Come on, Taylor. You're better than that. I think Taylor. Taylor, he's out. One close line. He's about to leave. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ace Armani not going to let that happen. Taylor, this match ain't going to end so soon. This is the main event, folks. Just punch it away. Oh, head off the side of the apron right there. And he gets Taylor back in the ring. Ace Armani has definitely become the franchise player of WMWA. The reigning wrestler of the year, the reigning heavyweight champion, uh, definitely the most popular wrestler on the roster. Uh, people love his uh, dedication, nice backbreaker, uh, his moves, and the fact that he kicks pretty much everyone's ass that the, the fans hate on top of that too, so that worked out pretty well. Armani getting the much better of Taylor Mann right now. Armani's up to three oh, yes. kicks. He's already up to three heavyweight title defenses. Defeated CJ in a rematch, defeated Brian O'Lynn at Stevens Beatings, and then won the debut match at the main event of 2015 uh, against Backyard. Uh oh, got caught, got caught. Somebody got caught. Sweeps the leg. Maybe going for a figure four. Become real popular in WWE. Uh oh, he's got it. He's, I think he's got it. Nope, nope, no, nope, wait, wait. Fall back and uh, One, two. Taylor almost had the ropes, but had to kick out of that. Smart move, smart move by Armani. Taylor, a two-time hybrid and a two-time Supreme Champion. Not only did he win, uh oh, backslide, go for backslide. Good reversal, good reversal by Armani. Oh, and a kick right to the temple. Armani's kicks are uh, second to none in this movie. Taylor actually won two championships at the 10th anniversary. He also won the hybrid, which he lost to back here just a couple shows later, but uh, did walk out with double goal. Only a handful of wrestlers have ever held two belts at the same time. Taylor is one of them. And elbow. Taylor using some of that agility he has into a cover. So. 
two by uh, Armani kicking out. Armani is arguably the toughest customer on the roster right now. Uh, the reason he won Wrestle of the Year last year is uh, rise to uh, the main event. Definitely been one to, uh, I've enjoyed watching. I know a lot of the fans have too. Definitely very nervous that uh, he is on uh, Team Dawson for the next uh, the, the ten man tag next show. Not a guy I wanted to see uh, get picked by Dave Dawson. It's a little tough. to have to finalize that team today. Oh, oh, oh. Into a cup. Good job by Armani. Good kick out by Taylor. Taylor has won a lot of big matches this career. I already, I already alluded to the 10th anniversary triple threat he won against Douglas and Bouncer, but he also beat CJ Price at the, the 100 show. And then he had that great hybrid title reign where he broke records. Into a cover. Yeah, Taylor has been a big time player. 2015 might be, a, might be his year. The backyard retired now. And we've got one less uh, WWE veteran on the roster. More space for these young guys to come up the line. And Taylor isn't that far away right now. I mean, he's already in the match with the heavyweight champion. He's taking it to him. Good shot right there. Second one. Three shot. Good, good knee right to the next one. Uh oh, uh oh, trying to go for his neck breaker. Armani fighting, Armani fighting. Reversal, pushes him off. Oh, 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 oh. Neck breaker, Taylor hits it. Good move by Taylor May to get that neck breaker. Buys himself some time. Taylor working his way up. Armani's still on the mat, though. Kick to the knee. Come on, bro. That's cheap. Good job. Taylor was going to obviously have an invested interest in that Supreme Invitation coming up. The winner of the tournament gets a title, Supreme title shot anytime they want. And every, every Supreme Invitation winner has gone on to win the Supreme title. Oh. You're gonna run away, son. We ain't forget that. Taylor, ever since when won those two belts at the 10th anniversary, Granny only has one left, but he is big. Oh. One arrogant son of a bitch. He, he's almost, it's almost he's like he's going Hollywood. Oh. I mean, I can't blame him. I'm one of those few guys that have won two titles at the same time, and it, you, feel like, uh, you feel like a rock star. There's no doubt about that, so. Uh, he's got a real opportunity right now. I mean, if he beats Armani here, uh, you're gonna have to take him serious. Oh, 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 oh! Whoa! Armani with that high flying side, no cover. Long two count, no go though. Grab not count that. Taylor actually had an opportunity to wrestle in the main event of the 10th anniversary. There was a fatal four-way match with him, Douglas, Olin, and Armani, which Armani obviously won. Uh, Armani had a great supreme title reign in his own right uh, before he lost it to Bobby Otis. He won that supreme title off Adrian in another classic. For a guy that's only been on the roster maybe three, a little over three and a half years, Armani has definitely got the library of matches, great matches. Line. If you're watching this, you just seen Armani for the first time, man. Go back and watch some of those other ones. Same thing goes for Taylor. Both those guys, great WWE wrestlers with dozens of great matches. Uh oh, into a cover. Uh, nope. Yeah, there you go. Not sure if he was gonna go for a submission or a cover right there. Armani really likes to fight right now because he's smiling about it. You know, uh, Armani loves a challenge. Oh, nice spin kick. Oh, second one. Oh, he kicked the spin section, the second one. 
Sailor's a big dude, but he is fast for his size. That's, you know, he can fly. You know, he can move. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, what a mean dragon screw right there. Um, forking that knee. Wow. Ouch. Sailor Man has had a few good opportunities to showcase that he can be a main eventer. He was in, he was in the last two six pack challenges. And he definitely uh, helped put his name in the main event map. No doubt about that. Oh, oh. 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 that was line. Both men down. Count up to six now. Seven. Come on, Armani. Armani, Armani getting up. He got the ropes. He got the ropes. Taylor's up now, too. Uh oh. Caught the army. Caught his arm. Uh oh. Maybe going for that Kimura. I don't know. Man, I've seen him do a Kimura in the past. Oh, he's got that. Taylor rhymes in pain right now. He has got to get to the rope. That can do some serious, serious damage. Taylor got to use some of that size and just got to work his way to the mat right now. He's got to grind this one out. Taylor working his way up, but he's, that arm is trapped right now. He's got to, got to get to that rope. This, mat, or this champion versus champion match is going to be over real quick. And the champion versus champion match is always some of the best matches in WWE. I mean, look at last year, the triple threat champions match one match. Oh, no! oh, what a reversal! What a reversal! No cover! No cover! Armani's got to break that now because he, he lost the match right there. Very impressive. Very impressive by Taylor, man. I have not seen that done before. That's what I always admire about Taylor May when he was under, you know, my, my teachings was that he would always watch a lot of footage of his opponents. He knew he was wrestling. He always wanted to know he wrestled as soon as he can so he could study up on them. Uh, he's, he's so quick to counter. He's got some of the most unique counters, and that's because he watches these uh, his opponents all the time. Nice crossbody across the top. Almost, almost stole cover. Float over. Oh, Armani's got his he's got his shoulder up. Uh oh. Taylor, Taylor picking up Armani. Oh, 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 Slow to make the cover. Slow to make the cover. He's got a cover. Oh, Armani showing his resiliency, and he kicks out of it. The F5. Uh, Taylor has put a lot of people away with that one, but just just winded, couldn't get to the cover. That's how exhausted both these guys are. I, I think if uh, Taylor could have got to the cover right away, he might have had that. Honestly, heavyweight champion or not, that is a devastating move. And put a, a lot of people away with that. He's definitely feeling it in his ribs and his stomach right there. Three. And uh, coming that high off the off his Taylor's shoulder to the mat. Six. Taylor up. Armani trying to get up right now. Oh! 
Bro, you need to hit the chill. Chill is about to steal this one. Taylor! Taylor with the ring wrench! And Taylor... Yeah, wrong belt, buddy. No, it's not. It's not Tyler, idiot. Taylor wins the champion versus champion, man. The Supreme Champion has had an amazing luck in this match. Taylor keeps that shit going. Armani's first loss is winning the heavyweight title.